Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is a bonus uh, love reading, and it's going to be for, for uh, from now till the end of the year, so the end of 2022, whatever you want to call it. But a lot of you have requested a love reading um, because of all the love that's coming up in the uh, readings in general. So let's see here what is going on for you here, Scorpio. See, uh, this judgment card came up in reverse. I don't read reversals, but this is first row is going to be your general energies. It's kind of interesting that it came up like that. Uh, so we're going to keep it in mind. Uh, in your next row, we are going to look at uh, some of their current feelings for you. So this could be a new person or a past person, and that's what we're going to look at here. This also came up in reverse, <laughs> which is, again, interesting. Uh, next, we're going to look at who is coming towards you, see if there's any new love coming in for you. Clearly, there's new love coming in for you here. Uh, I feel like this person's a whale, not in, not in the, as in the size of them, but um, I feel like they have a lot of energy, so we're going to look into that. Uh, and then at the end here, we're going to look at anything unexpected that's coming in for you. This actually looks pretty good as far as the love reading is concerned. Um, and we're also going to pull three yes, no question cards at the end as well. You start off with this triangle. It says crowded relationship or choices. Uh, I feel like this is a choice. I immediately felt it with that judgment card. Um, that some of you, it's like maybe you've been thinking about an ex or dealing with an ex or, you know, dealing with something else. It doesn't even have to be love related. You could be very busy in work or business, right? So something's been getting in the way of love, but I feel like something really good is coming in for you because of the Ace of Pentacles. Again, I don't even think you're interested in the past for most of you. Of course, that's not going to be true for all of you, but I do feel like some of you have been through a backstabbing situation. And if it's not, you take how it resonates. It could be a person that's coming in for you. I feel that very clearly. Uh, right here at this top position. It's like someone could be coming in who was stabbed in the back by their ex or their ex-partner or whatever. So I feel like this triangle situation is more a decision that you're making. You even have the lovers, which traditionally in tarot, the lovers was not about love. It was about being at a crossroads and having a choice to make. And I feel like you're picking, like I feel like a new uh, person, a new situation, Ace of Pentacles is much better is what I'm trying to spit out here, Scorpio. You have the Knight of Swords, the... Uh, Ace of Pentacles in the Judgment card here. Again, I feel some of you could have been in a running, like a runner situation, whatever the hell you want to call it, uh, or someone ran away from you. And again, if it's not you, I feel like you're dealing with a new person who had someone run away on them. So they could be like a little bit, of, like a little bit jumpy, you know. I kind of get this like jumpy energy, and I don't even think it's a bad thing. I actually feel like they're going to get over it very quickly because look at this. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, to the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is something very stable, something permanent. It, it, you know, that's the card of, you know, he's the card of convention, the way things have always been done. But he also kind of represents establishment as well. So he can represent something that becomes established. You have the Ten of Cups here. So I feel like this person will get over it very quickly. But again, there might be some behaviors uh, that they do or that you notice or that they notice. And I feel these things should be uh, kind of talked about. Again, already in these readings, I do feel like, communication is very important. Um, you know, at the end of this year, if you're going to be in a relationship, it's like communication is key. And you could say that's cliche because it's like communication is always important, but I actually don't think communication is the most important thing in relationships. I think it's respect is the most important thing in relationships, plain and simple. So, you know, I, I think communication is like down the list, but uh, for whatever reason, I feel like right now it's going to be very important. Uh, you have this Ace of Pentacles. I, I see this as like just a big offer coming in for you. So if you want love, I feel like there could just be a really big love offer coming in, something that makes you very happy, clearly. Ace of Pentacles is the path to marriage as well. So this could be a person who you will marry in the future that's coming in for you here with this Ace of Pentacles. I feel like they do have Earth in their chart somewhere. I don't know that they're an Earth sign. They could be. They're kind of showing up as a water sign here. So you know, it could be a fellow water sign. But definitely new love. Again, the judgment card came up in reverse, and I do feel some of you. It's like, mm, but I, I, like I feel like the words are popping into matter. You're forgetting this. Uh, so again, if there's a past person that you've been thinking about, it's almost as if there's a person that comes in that makes you completely forget about the past. So I don't think this is something that you're thinking about or holding on to. I also feel intuitively that like a new person, you're like, wow, this is like my person. You know, the judgment card is about waking up to your purpose. But again, maybe you're just waking up to your true like person here. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on with the I'm, I'm using the uh, Oracle of the Radiant Sun to clarify, by the way, with that Knight of Swords, you have this order card. 
Very interesting as well that um, a lot of people have had, there, there are a couple cards that kind of represent organization in here. And a lot of people have been getting these organization order cards. So clearly it's like a collective energy, but I would say that, you know, um, you could be attracting a person who's very orderly. I also feel like this is just saying, don't rush at this time with that Knight of Swords. I would take your time and make sure that if you're meeting a new person, that you're doing things in order, you know, that you're kind of taking your time here. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have this convention card. There you go. The King of Pentacles is the card of convention, the way things have always been done, like I said. So I actually don't normally like this card. I don't like the word convention right now because mm, of Uranus and Taurus, basically. I And also we're entering into the age of Aquarius. We have a lot of Aquarius energy coming up as well. To me, if you're doing the same thing you did yesterday, today, you're stuck. So in the immortal words of John Taffer. So what I would say here is I would be making sure to do new things every single day, including in love. But I kind of feel this person that could be coming in for you is very conventional. I feel like they like follow the rules. They have a certain way of doing things. And it actually feels like a good thing in your reading. Could be a Virgo as well. Uh, with the judgment card, you have this defense card. See, like I said, I feel like you're defensive against anything from the past in the first place. I also feel if you're attracting a person, I feel like both of you are defensive against the past. So again, if you're attracting a new person here, I feel like they want nothing to do with the past as well. So you, you don't really have to worry about them going back either. <laughs> Clearly a good thing. Uh, next in the area of their current feelings, you have anticipation. I like this. I feel someone's anticipating you. Look at this. There's a, a bunch of chairs behind this crow. And I feel like they're just like waiting for someone to sit down. So uh, for some of you, I'm wondering if you have your eye on a person. If you do, I would just go for it or I would just approach them or, you know, I don't know. I would do something right uh, here in, with this energy. So I would like put yourself out there in some way if you have your eye on a person. Because I feel like this person's like anticipating you. It's almost like they can feel you in their energy field. And again, take it how it resonates. This could be vice versa as well. You have the Ten of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the nine, Knight of Cups. The Ten of Swords talks about a difficult ending. Again, you could be dealing with a person uh, who's gone through a difficult ending or you have gone through a difficult ending. He's making a symbol with his hands here that kind of represents blessings or receiving a blessing. I feel like th that, you know, this is someone who's ready for a new beginning. I feel you're kind of like both ready for a new beginning. So again, if you're attracting a person just in general, uh, you're ready for a new beginning. But I feel like you could be attracting a person who's been hurt recently because again, we're looking at their current feelings in this situation. So you could be attracting a person like that. I feel like you're attracting a person who doesn't really need someone as well. And now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I said something very similar to you in a recent reading. It's almost like you're attracting a person who just doesn't need anyone. <laughs> but, you know, I mean this in like the best way possible. I feel like this person is perfectly happy and will be extremely happy to have you in their life. But they're just like, they really truly don't need anything. I feel like they're very well, you know, I feel like they're very well adjusted just in general. That's a word that's popping into my head. I feel like they're capable of like soothing themselves and everything like that. They don't need a mother. They don't need a father. They don't need someone to take on their traumas or anything like that. I feel like this is a very well adjusted person that you're attracting into your life. And so, you know, I don't know, feels pretty good to me. I also feel that someone who's probably pretty successful. I'd say if you're looking for clues, as to who this could be, it would be someone who's at the top of their game because she has these grapes behind her and the grapes kind of represent, um, you know, something that requires a lot of skill to grow. So I feel like you could be attracting a very skilled person, but as far as like how this person is feeling, um, whether you're dealing with them right now or in the future, uh, I feel this person is very highly focused as well with the nine of pentacles. But I also feel like they're ready for love. Knight of cups. This person isn't going to want to play games. Look at this. Knight of Cups to the Ten of Cups. It's like they're willing to be very patient for the right thing to show up in their life right here. So I feel like this person's like open and ready for love. Knight of Cups, you know, Knight in Shining Armor. They, you, they could be waiting for you to be their Knight in Shining Armor, I suppose. But, um, you know, I kind of feel this is like a good person. It's kind of saying, I feel it's more saying this is the person right here. This person will take your breath away, right? <laughs> uh, with that Knight of Cups. But, um, you know, I also feel like they're not afraid to not have love in their life either. So kind of like a interesting energy here, Scorpio. But uh, let's see what's going on. That was like 30 cards that flipped around there. So that was not a pop out. But let's see. With the Ten of Swords, you have this companionship card. Again, this ready, this person's ready for companionship. They've had a difficult ending in the recent past, but I feel like they've healed very quickly. And again, I get a very matter of fact energy with this person. So I feel like in love, they they do heal quickly from breakups because I feel like they're just like, you know, well, 
It's life. I learned a lesson. You know, I learned from the situation. Now it's time to move on. So I feel, of course, they feel pain and all those other things, but I feel like they heal very quickly. But I do feel like you're attracting a person who's just been through an ending, a difficult ending with the Ten of Swords, but they're looking for companionship. Uh, that's the moon in Libra, by the way, that card. So very equal give and take with this person. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have this eccentricity card. Definitely could be attracting a weird person <laughs> or someone who's very eccentric, who's very different. This um this seduction card also came out. Uh, it kind of like popped out there. And uh, so I feel like this person is very seductive or they will uh, be, you will find them very seductive. Again, they could be very eccentric, kind of live their own life, do their own thing. I feel like they have like a lot of different layers to them. I call these people onion people, right? That have a lot of different layers. It's like you're always exploring something or always learning something new about this person. It's not that they hide anything either. I feel like they're very open with that nine of pentacles, but I feel like they just have a lot of layers. Uh, with that Knight of Cups, uh, could be a Pisces. You have this uh, Sun in Pisces. Pisces, as I've been saying for like months, I don't know what's going on with Pisces. You, you know, Pisces has been uh, all up in everybody's business. So I don't know if like the universe is, um, you know, giving Pisces some like Spanish fly energy or something like that or what. I have no freaking clue, but uh, Pisces is like, you know, off the charts, but <laughs> so I would be careful, but this could be a Pisces and I'm a Pisces. So there you go. Uh, but Definitely could be um, someone who has a great vision. You, you, this is a card of vision and seeing things before they happen. So again, someone has uh, either you have your eye on this person or they have your, their eye on you. Take it how it resonates. I, I literally said that uh, at the beginning of this road. And I mostly feel that because of that anticipation energy. It's like this person, it's almost like they can feel you before it even happens. So it could be someone very intuitive. It doesn't have to be a Pisces, but just could be a very intuitive person. Uh, coming in for you here. Uh, let's see. Uh, next for uh, in the area of who is coming in for you, you have this whale card. It says wisdom keeper on it. Again, like I said, I feel this person has a lot of wisdom uh, and they have a lot of experience as well. So a very experienced person. I feel like they're very just experienced in life just in general. And this is probably something that you will notice right away. I feel you, as you spend time with this, this person, because I feel like this person's coming in, by the way, at the end of this year, like, you know, over the next three months or so. Or again, if you have your own person, make the move is what this reading is saying. But because you'll have this person right away, basically. But uh, I feel like this person has a lot of wisdom. And again, the first thing I think will stand out to you is that they have an answer for everything. Not in, a, not in like an, an annoying way. I feel like if they encounter an issue, they know how to overcome things very quickly. Their response to things is very different. That's what's literally popping into my head. You have the lovers, the queen of cups, and the 10 of cups. Again, I feel like this person is serious. Uh, definitely new love, by the way, because uh, of the lovers. So I feel like this is a divinely guided connection as well. This is your higher self angel. So I feel like the universe is kind of like, uh, you know, I hate to be cl cliche here, but I feel like the universe is bringing two people together. And there has been confusion about like what to do, but I feel like the universe is bringing two people together here with the lovers card. And this person's clearly ready for love. I feel like this is what they want, like happy home, happy family. So you're definitely like attracting a serious person, someone who wants something serious long-term, someone who wants a family if you happen to want a family. If you don't want a family, it could just be a person who kind of just wants good energy. You know, the Ten of Cups is just a card of community and happiness. So that's probably what they're hoping to attract. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Cups. Funny enough, I read Queen of Cups as you. I know a lot of readers read her as uh, Cancer. Uh, I personally read her as uh, Scorpio. So this could be you. Uh, could also be your pers the person you're attracting. I feel like this person is very heart-based. And that's the other thing that I think will stand out to you about this person is I feel they really make decisions more from their heart. It's much different. And I feel it feels different. I, I, I mean, literally, I kind of almost can't explain it, like what I'm feeling here, but I feel you'll know it when you see it <laughs> because I feel like the way they make decisions, you're like, wow, that they make decisions very differently. I feel like they make decisions very, very quickly in their life as well, all areas of their life. They like kind of like they make up their mind about something like right away. And I feel that it comes from the heart and they're always right. And I, that could be annoying, but at the same time, it's like they really are tapped into their own energy or whatever you want to call it. And I feel this is something that really sta will be standing out to you. Uh, just as a, like a little bit of a side note, if you don't have your eye on a person or don't know anyone yet, Ten of Cups very specifically is a card of dating. So I would definitely encourage you to get out there and date. Uh, again, like I said, I feel the other thing is this person is very focused on companionship. So if you're worried about like players or anything like that, I feel like this person will make it very clear when you meet them that they are they want companionship. They don't want like to screw around and all this other stuff. Uh, with the lovers, you have this negotiation card here. 
Uh, someone else had this, I don't remember who, but, um, you know, you, I, I kind of feel like some of you could be dealing with a person who's negotiating with themselves. Um, <laughs> I feel like they're kind of like, you know, uh, my life is good, you know, nine of pentacles, maybe they're having their glow up or whatever you want to call it. And so they're kind of negotiating with themselves about like what they want in love. I feel like this person makes a decision very, very quickly though. They're like at the last stage is what I feel here. Look at this moon. You can see that there's a moon right here. Uh, if it wants to focus, but it's kind of like a crescent moon and it's kind of going this way. So I feel for a lot of you, this could also, you know, be a person who's going to pick the sun happiness with you probably very quickly. I'm also getting something, you know, it kind of looks like an eclipse on there. So uh, this could be happening for you around the time of the eclipse, which is the 25th, I believe, of the month. I can't actually remember, 25th, 26th, whatever. Um, and so it could be towards the end of the month that you actually uh, communicate with this person. With the Queen of Cups, you have this indecision card. This is the only thing that's going to get in the way <laughs> is someone's indecision. So I feel like you need to make a choice to move towards this person. If you have your eye on a person, I feel like they're totally interested. Uh, if you don't have your eye on a person, I feel like you just need to make the decision to date. Again, this kind of looks like your higher self angel as well. So again, it's like the universe, I feel, is encouraging you to put yourself out there, but you're going to have to do it, plain and simple. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have this drama card. Yeah, this person wants no drama as well. I feel like you both don't want drama, clearly. I mean, who does? But uh, I don't know. Some people I feel are addicted to drama. I feel like this person doesn't want drama. You don't want drama. Kind of like a good match here. Uh, for others, you know, I feel this person, this is talking about this person. I feel like they've experienced enough drama and they're like kind of like over it. Could also be a Leo or someone who has like, um, you know, I, I feel like they could have fire in their chart somewhere, um, like their Mercury, their Venus, something like that. Uh, next at the end for the unexpected, uh, if I can get this card, you have this September card. So this card says September on it. You also have this mice card that says discord among friends or family. Kind of interesting because I feel some of you might be like moving out or moving away from friends and family. <laughs> I don't really feel this is like a bad thing, but I do feel it's like a thing that could be kind of what's unexpected is that maybe if you're moving, that the move is what uh, brings love into your life. I'm also getting the same thing for work as well. It's like, maybe you're not feeling happy at work. And I almost feel like what you don't see is that the universe is like trying to get you to move uh, on from something, right? Whether it's work, business, where you live or otherwise, because it's like where you're going is where you're going to find someone. I don't know, kind of a weird message. I've never had that before, but there you go. Uh, you have the King of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Strength card. I feel like you could be meeting someone who's extremely patient as well with this King of Pentacles. Like they're willing to take their time and be patient with you. I feel like they definitely want to build something long term as well. I do get, like, I feel a little bit surprised just in general. Like maybe you're just surprised that a person like this is interested in you because I don't know who, who the hell knows why, right, Scorpio? <laughs> maybe they look too good or something like that. But I'd say, um, you know, don't don't shoot yourself in the foot here, right? It's like I've done a million readings over the years where people are like, you know, I thought this person was too good for me, so I left them. I'm like, oh my God, like, well, you know, why <laughs> is what I'd say. If you think someone is too good for you, keep your mouth shut. That is not like, a, you know, people who do that drive me crazy um, for the most part because it's like, you know, that it's like, it's not a valid reason I, I feel sometimes to leave a person. Obviously there are valid reasons to leave people all the time. But if it's because, you know, every single one of those readings used to drive me crazy, I'm not trying to call anyone out here, but they used to be like, is this person gonna come back? I'm like, probably not. If you literally told them that they're too good for you, uh, they probably said, you know what, you're right. <laughs> so I'd say don't, you know, I kind of get that feeling here. I'm not saying you're gonna do that, but maybe you have in the back of your mind, you're thinking like, oh, is this person too good for me? I'd say like cancel those thoughts out because it's just gonna lead to a mess. Um, Again, obviously this could be them as well. Take it how it resonates. And obviously you can't control another person's thoughts, but you know, just putting it out there. You have this justice card. I feel for a very small percentage of you, you could be dealing with a person who's like going through a divorce or separation. So, you know, that could be like a little bit of a mess, but I don't know, they, uh, this to me is justice. So it could be coming to an end. I also feel like the universe wants you to experience justice in relationships in general. So I kind of feel this is more of a balancing energy. You have like one, two, three, Mm, yeah, you have like three Libra cards in this reading so far. So definitely like a balancing out. Uh, and you have the strength card again. I feel like this person's very patient. So you could be attracting a person who is a very patient in your life here. Again, that was like 30 cards. This is just a slippery deck. Although I love this deck. Uh, again, people always ask what it is. Oracle of the Radiant Sun, definitely my new favorite for sure. 
Uh, with the King of Pentacles, you have this caution card. I would just be cautious of someone who isn't moving. <laughs> you know, if they're like taking too long, maybe you want to have a com communication with this person, especially if it's a new person. That's what I would be cautious of here. I would, again, also be cautious of thinking someone is too good for you or like kind of creating that energy in the first place. Again, I'm not saying you are gonna do that, but if you start finding yourself being like worried, like, oh, this person is like way too attractive, they get too much attention, um, you know, that's not their fault. Maybe they just look too good, right? But they want you. I feel like this person only has eyes for you. You have this vision card. So it's like, you know, I wouldn't entertain those thoughts. With the Justice card, you have this originality card. You, uh, you are definitely attracting someone very original. You have that eccentricity card here. I feel like, uh, I mean, I don't want to be clickbaity here, but I feel like there's no one like this person. <laughs> Maybe that's why you have those thoughts creeping in that, oh, they're going to leave me or they're going to go for someone else or whatever. I feel like this person's a lover. You know, you have the lovers here. Um, and the funny thing is, I feel like you could be attracting a person who literally has had like multiple people be like, you're too good for me. And I don't know, it's popping into my head. So I would just be careful of that because I feel like this person legitimately just wants love. It's almost like they're cursed. Maybe they look too good, right? Maybe they're too attractive. <laughs> Maybe they have hot guy, hot girl syndrome or something like that, where it's like they're too attractive and everybody leaves them because they're scared or insecure. So I, I kind of feel like this is saying, don't allow insecurities to come to, you know, kind of ruin something here. And I'm not saying it's going to, I don't want to create that energy, but I'm just saying, like, if you have those thoughts, you know, I think we can catch thoughts early, right? So if you have those thoughts, be like, cancel, this person clearly only has eyes for me. And I feel like there's plenty of evidence. I keep telling people this year, and especially as we move over the next like decade, right? We really, it is super important that for like the next 10 years that we really trust the evidence, not just in love, but all areas of our life. If there is evidence that this person is a good person, clearly not cheating on you, which I think there is, then they're not. Like, don't make up stories in your head. I don't like Neptune and Pisces, clearly, right? I talk about it all the time because I don't like it. And you know, I think it can ruin things if we don't pay attention. And I also feel, again, part of the insecurity, this person could be very original. It's like, again, they don't need you, right? And I'm not saying this like in a mean way. I'm just saying, I feel like this person's original. They have like more than enough on their own. But I feel like the fact that they're with you should prove to you that, you know, things are gonna go very well. But a very originally, like original minded person, they, they kind of like do their own thing. With this strength card, you have this appreciation card. Could be a Leo as well. You have the strength card. This is the moon in Leo, this card here. So could be attracting someone with Leo in their chart. I think I said something about like a, um, Venus and Leo or something like that earlier. So it could be someone who has a fire sign, Leo, uh, a Venus fire sign sign <laughs> or something like that. Uh, definitely popping into my head. And I feel like they will show you that they appreciate you as well. So that's like another thing that kind of stands out to me. But uh, pretty interesting. We're going to do three yes or no question cards now. This looks pretty good to me here, Scorpio. It doesn't surprise me. I felt like water signs were going to have good love readings anyway. Uh, but we're going to do one, two, three. Feel free to pause this reading if you need time to think your questions. One, two, three. We're going to do yes, no, maybe. Uh, for question number one, hell yes, sun, a lot of happiness, joy, childlike energy here as well. Yes. For question number two, uh, I would say yes, but something needs to be revealed here is what I'm getting. Like something needs to be exposed or something. And for question number three, mm, I would say yes. This is This is the rules that I would follow right now. I keep telling people that... The rule I would follow for pretty much, again, the next like 10 years is justice. If you get into a situation, put energy in, is the energy returned? If the answer is yes, keep going. If the answer is no, stop. The, and people always say, well, that's obvious. I'm like, well, actually it's not, right? Because just look at the comments. I get comments all the time from people who just like give and give and give and give and give. That is not justice. That is not the justice energy, right? We need to put a little in, see if it's returned. If it's returned, then keep going. And again, the problem is, with Neptune and Pisces, I feel like we know the truth too soon. <laughs> like if we get with a person that we like and we know it's not gonna work out, we probably know right away, especially us water signs. So, you know, I, and, but maybe we don't wanna believe it, right? And so I feel like that is also justice. It's like, again, if you're, if you know that a person isn't returning the right amount of energy, I feel that cutting those things off quickly is gonna be very important. Although again, I don't think you have to worry about it because clearly there's a person coming in for you. But uh, this looks pretty good here, Scorpio. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But uh, thank you and definitely enjoy your week.